Well, getting on to more serious stuff, and I'm sure there'll be more um, Lloyd Braun teasing later, I would imagine. But, uh, um, you know, so you left Yahoo, you started a new company, Berman Braun. Um, what was, uh, so tell me about Berman Braun. What's the inspiration for why you're doing it? What are you guys <coughs> doing? Um, well, my partner and I, Gail Berman is my partner. I met Gail when she was running Fox and I was running ABC. I was actually sitting next to her on a panel one day, right as she was going into Fox, and I remember saying to myself, this, this woman is unbelievable. I, I'm go it's going to be hell competing with her, which it was. Um, but we actually struck up a great friendship, and uh, you know, we, had, you know we, we, we both had a variety of corporate jobs, and we've sort of seen what, you know, sort of how a lot of these media companies have evolved, and really felt that um, it would be wonderful if the two of us could have an opportunity to sort of start a company and that focused really on content in areas that we felt we really understood and tried to do it the right way. Uh, where we live or fail based on, you know, did we do it the right way or not? And uh, that would apply to every area we'd be in, which initially was television and digital. So I won't focus on television unless you want to ask me something there. But in terms of digital, um, I had learned an enormous amount when I was at Yahoo. And the, the, I, the, 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 what I'm most proud of is not any of the, you know, OMG or any of that stuff. What I'm most proud of is that I actually went in there and learned it. To the point where like my first week when I was there, I mean, I knew nothing. Which by the way, puts me at par with most of my colleagues, certainly five years ago in digital and m many now know, don't know a heck of yeah. a lot. So I remember going, uh, I'd spent two or three days a week up in Sunnyvale, and my very first week I took my uh, head engineer, a wonderful man named Barath Kadaba, who's a dear friend of mine still, and we went out to dinner, and my first question to him was, okay, Barath, what's the internet? And he, he like looks at me, I'm sure he's saying, oh my God, what, what, what has Terry Semmel done? And I said, no, I, 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 th I mean, I kind of know what it is, but I just, I want to know that what I think it is actually is what it is. And what's the difference between the internet and the web? And what's, and, 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 and what, how do these pictures get on the monitor? Is there like somebody in there that holds up? I mean, what, how does it happen? And I, and I learned about binary code and I learned about, I mean, really the basics, okay? To the point where I actually understood more about how the internet worked than I'll ever know how television works. Television to me is like magic. And, uh, so I, I really, really understood, uh, as time went on, how this business worked. And I started to understand not just the, the business side of it, but the, the content programming side and how sort of early on it was in the evolution of this medium. And the people that were in charge of creating and distributing and programming these sites were more or less the same people who had like, created the medium. It was like if television was being run by the people who created the rayon tube. <laughs> and I saw, I thought there was an enormous opportunity to take these sites, most of which were very sort of 1.0 in so many ways, and really hadn't been touched, many of them, since they were first published by Yahoo, and take them to sort of the next generation and apply a lot of the programming principles and know-how that comes from traditional media. Now that doesn't mean, oh, well, I'm just gonna do nothing but original content. That is the most misguided perception of what we were doing during that period of time. But it meant actually trying to take what, what we've learned over 40 or 50 years and apply it. And we saw that there was an enormous opportunity to do it. We never got to finish it um, because the investment shifted towards search, but we started this company because the opportunity to do that still existed and still does exist. So what our company tries to do, in essence, is what we were going to do in the Yahoo Media Group and create next generation sites through brands um, and uh, 
hopefully prove a lot of what the principles were that we were going to improve prove so, when we were young. So you said um, you wanted to have a company where you didn't fail because you couldn't do it right, where you always did it right. So what is what do you think doing it right is for digital? Is there is that doing it right? Does that reference some set of rules that you think well, are really It's doing it right or, for us. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't pretend you? that there's only one way to do things right. Yeah. Uh, um, but it, what is it for you? What is doing it right? Well, for us, first of all, it's, it's, it's leveraging what we do well. And um, first and foremost, it meant getting sort of the best infrastructure. There is no infrastructure to create sites like the ones we create at least in companies like ours. They, they really just don't exist. Traditional media companies don't really know how to do it. Um, on, the, on the digital side, and the digital companies don't really get how to do it on the, on the content programming side. So get, bring in the best people on the planet, and we brought in the absolute best people that we had from Yahoo and supplemented it with uh, some great people elsewhere. And um, in, in, in everything that we did, Wonderwall being you know, the first example, we, we took absolutely nothing for granted because we recognized that if you just keep doing it the way everybody's been doing it, you're going to end up with something that's the same that everybody else has. And there's a great story um, from a meeting I had at Yahoo, uh, a very, very senior meeting. And I had been there, I don't know, three months or so, and I was struck by the fact that all of the Yahoo sites, not all, but like 95% of them, would have, like, were narrow and had margins on the side. And I, I, like, I couldn't understand it. It's like, why are we not using the whole monitor? And it didn't even fill up the whole browser. But yet, there were a couple of sites that I noticed did fill up the whole browser, like Finance for some reason did, and My Yahoo for some reason did, and I noticed that CNET sites actually did. But like Yahoo News and, 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 and Yahoo Music and all these other sites were like narrow. And I didn't get it. And then I'd see new products and they, they were narrow. And I'm in this meeting, a senior staff meeting, and someone is showing some new Yahoo product that, 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 that they were rolling out. And they showed a screenshot of it. And again, it, sorry. Again, it was, it, was, it was narrow screen, and so I raised my hand, and I was the king of stupid questions there for at least six months. But I realized after this that not every question, that even though they're stupid, you know what, I better st keep asking my stupid questions. I simply raised my hand and I said, why are all our sites narrow? Why do we have margins on the page? I mean, it would be like if, if we put on a television, if, if like lost, we only use the center of the screen. Why do we do that? I mean, we could at least put ads there, couldn't we? or at least put content, I mean, there's got to be a reason. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sorry for the stupid question. So like 10 seconds pass, and my good friend Dan Rosenzweig finally says, can someone please answer the man's question? There was no answer. The answer was, this is how we've always done it for 10 years. Right.